Lancashire College Alumni Association recently held its fifth ever youth summer camp last June 17 to 27, leading a group of 49 youth participants in a cultural and educational trip around Fujian, China. 这次共度十一天的正友青年寻根之旅是由国务院侨办、福建省侨办主办，福建师范大学承办，为菲律宾中正学院校友会、华裔青年所组成的福建文化体验夏令营。On the first day of the tour, we went to several of Fuzhou's important landmarks, such as the Fuzhou Urban and Rural Planning Museum, Fuzhou Guihua Guan, where we learned about Fuzhou's development and geographical significance. Afterwards, we went to one of Fuzhou's most iconic landmarks, Sanfang Tixiang, which literally means three avenues and seven streets. It is a well-preserved cultural compound that dates back from the Qing Dynasty. It also has a special memorial for Lin Zexu, a Chinese scholar official who is well known for leading the fight against the First Opium War. On the following day, we were invited into Fujian Normal University, Fujian Shifan Dashue, one of the foremost universities in China, for the opening ceremony of our tour, wherein the principal of the university, Mr. Lin Xinian Yuanzhang, and Chiang Kai-shek College Alumni Association President, Ms. Marguerite De Gaulle, Youth Committee Chairman, Zhang Jiafi Yang, etc., gave their welcoming remarks. That afternoon, we had our first lecture on the One Belt One Road policy, Yi Dai Yi Lu, the 21st century maritime Silk Route that was introduced by China's President Xi Jinping last 2013 to help foster economic trade and growth with the rest of the world. On the third day, we had a class on Chinese culture, which tackled the definition and the scope of culture in China. Afterwards, we went to the Fuzhou Panda World, Fuzhou Xiong Mao Shijie, where we met Basi the Panda. The world's oldest living panda. We also visited Fuzhou West Lake, Fuzhou Xihu Gongyuan, and took a scenic and memorable cruise down Min River, Minjiang. On the fourth day, we had a look at the Zhenghe Maritime Museum, Zhenghe Hanghai Guan. Zhenghe was a eunuch during the Ming Dynasty at the time of Emperor Yongle, who led the exploration via marine voyages to different parts of the world. Here we learned about his history and contributions. We also visited a monument that was erected in his honor, where we can see Zheng He commanding his ship of voyagers. On the fifth day, we attended a lecture in China's growing economy, which tackled China and the world's new normal, Xin Changtai. On the following day, we had an introductory class to some of China's most traditional art forms, such as the Chinese knot tying, Zhongguo Jie, Chinese paper cutting, Zhongguo Jianzhi, and calligraphy, Zhongguo Shuhua. On our last day in Fuzhou, we had our closing ceremony, wherein the principal of Fujian Normal University, Mr. Lin Xinyan, and the vice president, Chiang Kai-shek College Alumni Association, Ms. Aurora Guo, gave the closing remarks. Participants of the tour also gave a song and dance performance. On day eight, the group departed Fuzhou and went to Meizhou Island, Meizhou Dao. This is the place where a prominent figure of Buddhism called Mazu is worshipped. We had to take a ferry into the island, in which you can track the many temples that house different apparitions of Mazu. People all over the world, especially from Taiwan, come here for pilgrimage. The last two days of the tour, the group headed to Quanzhou and toured around the Quanzhou History Museum of Overseas Chinese, Quanzhou Huatiao Li Shi Bo Wu Guan, the biggest temple in Fujian, Kai Yuan Si. And after Quanzhou, the group headed to Xiamen and visited the Jimei School campus, Jimei Shui Tun, as well as Xiamen's most iconic street, Zhongshan Lu. To conclude the tour, vice presidents of the Chiang Kai-shek College Alumni Association also paid a courtesy call to the Foreign and Overseas Chinese Affairs Office in Xiamen.
这次感谢所有主办单位精心组织，安排了丰富多彩的活动，让后辈的华裔经验祖国的强盛。